Yes, guys. Any other thing that uh, you want to tell me about this girl, Kanta? Um, yes, she is jumping. Uh, huh? She is jumping, ma'am. Where is she jumping? She is an athlete. Okay. Where is she jumping? Uh, she, she is jumping. Uh, one, one to another top. One to another uh, heel. Heel. Uh huh. So what can we say? Wow, Sushma, great sentence. That's what I was looking for. You know, guys, what she is trying to do, like Kanta said, she is trying to jump across the river. I hope you got the message what she is trying to do. She is not trying to jump into the river, not into the river, but it looks like she is trying to jump across the river. We studied across. Across means on the other end, dusri taraf. River ke dusri taraf kudne ki koshish kar na. So we use the word across for that. Did you understand that word, guys? We said she is trying to jump across the river, or she is jumping across the river. So that's the word across because you see there's a there's a river in the mid, and she is trying to jump from one end of the hill, like from one hill to the other hill. So we use the word across for that. Is that clear to you guys? Did you understand why we used across here? Hum bolenge, she's trying to jump across the river, is situation. Okay, good. Please keep participating guys. Please keep telling me yes, no in the chat um, so that I know. Please write down everything in the chat whenever we are not talking verbally, write down in chat so I know that it's clear. So that's across. Now, tell me about this dog, please. What do you think that this dog is doing? Raghav, please tell me. Ma'am, uh, dog is trying to the same and he is trying to jump across the river. And what is this? A pond, a river, whatever. Do you think he's trying to jump across the river? Or do you think he's jumping into the river? Mm. I need to check into the pond. I am using my phone. Okay. It doesn't matter. Yeah, we can perceive it's anything. Trying to, it's trying to into the river and catch some fishes. Okay, sure. It can be anything. But if you are thinking it's trying to cross, you will say it's trying to jump across the river. But if you think its goal is to catch fish, you will say the dog is, dog is jumping into the river. We discussed okay. the word into yesterday. Into ka matlab, we use it for a movement. Like you see, the dog is moving here inside I something. Um, yesterday I was absent. So okay. I was so I you, had a you can learn it today. You had a headache. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So did you understand it right now? That's yes, what a movement we use into. And guys, I want to tell you, into is one word. In and to, it, these are not two words with space. No, it's one word with no space, into. So the dog is trying to jump into the lake, into the river, lake, river, whatever. But what is important is into or across. That's what is important. Across means kutta kudega yaan se to seedha us tarah pahunchega udhar jidhar greenery dikh rahi hai into matlab river ke andar pahunchega so you should use appropriate word he is jumping in the river is not correct we don't use in for movement in is used when something is like stable at a place for movement we use into like in this case we said the dog is jumping into the river now let's move on in the river is not correct, Anuj. Into the river or across the river. Okay, Anuj. Into or across. Both these expressions are fine. Now, please tell me about this picture. There's a doctor and looks like there's a patient. What do you think that, uh, what do you think the doctor is doing here? Manish, please tell us. Hi, Manish. The patient is sleeping, of course. But what is the doctor doing, guys? Please tell me. Since I can't hear Manish, let me go to Poonam. And your voice is not clear, ma'am. Oh, I'm sorry about that. How about the other people? Can you hear me, guys? So, guys, you know that this patient is sleeping. We know the patient is sleeping. But what is the doctor doing in this picture? Please let me know. Um, um, the doctor covers um, 
uh, the man uh huh body over the blanket could you please uh, try to restructure your sentence please try to restructure it try to say it again kirti what do you think what would you say hi kirti hi anuj are you guys there hello yes kirti go ahead please yes ma'am ma'am uh mm -hmm. ek minute just one minute yes yes i'm waiting <laughs> the doctor cover cover patient the doctor the is the doctor cover patient mm -hmm. while patient sleep oh okay while the patient sleeps neha says sure that's fine i think this patient has died so doctor is trying to cover his face oh, okay okay and how is he covering his face ma'am uh huh I was also right. I think so. Yes, yes, you were right, Kirti. Of course, okay, of course. Any any other sentences that you want to give me? Okay, doctor is trying to cover up his head. Trying to cover the patient by blanket. Okay, yes, trying to cover the patient by blanket. But one of the students, Kanta, said, "Doctor over the patient." No, 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 no. Trying to cover, wearing a sheet, sleep him. Okay. blanket over him okay satya yes i wanted anuj says the doctor put over a blanket on his patient wonderful yes i was looking for you guys to try to use the word over here so what the doctor is actually doing is the doctor is pulling a blanket over this person or pulling a blanket over his body so you use the word over when one thing covers the other thing but other expressions were also right like right now ashish said putting over sheet over the patient yes that's what you will say or you can use over in this situation right now the sheet is over the patient's body it's over not on this situation is over situation so remember that on ka matlab when something is on one surface like this is the last thing uske upar koi chota cheez hai on that surface you use on but when one thing is covered by the other thing then it is over that thing jaise ki this blanket is over this patient's body right now now please tell me about this picture and tell me where the baby is where is the baby satvik where is the baby uh under the bed very nice that's right baby is under the bed not below but under the bed that's right okay now take a look at this picture tell me about this person this person is walking as you know um you know where is this person walking please tell me and can you also tell me the direction of his walk if you could tell me the direction of his walk that would be great yeah okay so many people are late um ashish where do you think this pay, this person is walking hi ashish are you there i can't hear ashish so let's yeah yeah i'm there so yes ashish uh, please go ahead are you yeah are you yes, yeah so me. this man is uh, walking over the railway track oh, sorry on the railway track he is not walking over right he is walking on the railway track on the rail on the railway track That's on the right. on the railway thank you ashish and as many of you also said this man is also walking along the railway track along ka matlab jidhar ko railway track ja raha hai in the same direction in the same direction as the railway track so we can also use along the railway track so i would like to repeat that you use along to say that something is in the same direction in the same line as the other thing like here this person is walking in the same direction as the railway track uh for that we use along the railway track many of you have used it that makes me very happy great job guys let's move on to the next one so take a look at this picture i hope you can see the snow in this picture there is some snow there's this road and there is this snow in the picture 
how will you describe the uh, location of the snow if you want to tell somebody that there is snow where is the snow please let me know poonam please let me know about the snow in the picture yes ma'am ma'am the snow is on the road it is definitely on the road but it is also on the tree mm, okay on the trees they are not in the trees on the trees on the trees yes what else it is in the forest okay snow is on the road and over the trees yeah actually we should use the word over here and not on because the snow is almost covering the trees so we should not use on we should use over in this case there is snow all over the trees yes over the trees all over the forest over the trees i get your sentences good you guys used the prepositions on and over correctly but you can also say that along the street there is snow there is snow on both sides of the street there is snow along the street you can also use that word to describe this situation well done let's move on oh and now tell me about this picture tell me about this path and uh, and the beautiful plants that you see that the beautiful plants you see how will you describe that radhika please tell me the plants are across the the plants are along the path very nice yes it is not an across situation it is along the path great job radhika so guys why are we seeing along the path because it's in the same direction you see as you go in that direction you will see plants so for such situation we say there are beautiful plants along the road along the path etc so i hope you guys understood the words along and across by now did you understand the words along and across and their use please let me know in the chat please please write something in the chat yes no maybe it's not clear or it is clear okay thank you thank you for that feedback good there are trees in front of the house that's right as well good pinky says yes thank you thank you everyone for your feedback now let's move on um tell me about these these tall trees where are these tall trees located on one side you see very tall trees please describe this position of these trees and let me go to anuj hi anuj hi anuj could you describe it how would you describe the trees yes anuj hi yes ma'am mm -hmm. where are these trees company pe road road ke side mein hai ma'am to so, kaise bolenge Bo both side nahi one side mm -hmm. yes aap bol sakte hain on one side of the road there are trees aur aap bol sakte hain there are trees beside the road kya bol sakte hain beside the road बट ये ट्रीज जो है ना ये रोड के साथ साथ में भी हैं जैसे जैसे रोड चल रही है वैसे वैसे ये ट्रीज भी चल रहे हैं तो आप ये भी बोल सकते हैं दैट दीज ट्रीज आर लोकेटेड अलोंग द रोड लाइक रेहान सेड एंड मेनी ऑफ यू सेड दे आर ऑल्सो अलोंग द रोड अलोंग का मतलब होगा कि रोड के साथ साथ पेड़ हैं सड़क के साथ साथ पेड़ हैं तो यू विल यूज द वर्ड अलोंग सड़क के साथ साथ या सड़क के किनारे किनारे फॉर एग्जाम्पल उसके लिए आप अलोंग यूज करेंगे ओके okay, अनुज okay. I okay. hope you understood that. So, your trees. आप किसी को बताना होगा आपको आप बोलेंगे there are some very tall trees along the road. If you go there, you will like the place. For example, now please tell me about this palace. I think it's a palace or a mosque or something. Uh, what's the location of this palace? Please let me know, guys. Uh. -uh. Kanta, where where is this palace located? um it is located near the near the pond it is near the pond okay 
But how about how about you are on the if you are on the on this side of this pond or lake or river whatever? Ah, ma'am, uh, the palace reflecting into the water. Ah, okay. In the water, not into the water. In the water. In the water. In the water. Palace can move to Karnataka. It's just there. Okay, okay so some of you said, you know, you know, for example, Kanta, if you are sitting on this. Uh, stone that you see on the left hand corner there's a stone if you were sitting here on this stone uh, on this rock how would you describe the location fir aap kahan bolte ki kahan par hai ye palace okay behind the pond no not behind the pond satya yes i got a lot of correct answers you know kanta you can say it is across the pond or across the lake okay ma'am okay. because it's on the other side across ka matlab hota hai on the other side okay to agar aapko bolna hai ki lake ke dusri taraf palace hai to aap bolenge the palace is across the river not in front of the river it is across the river ya fir agar aap usi side mein hain jidhar ye palace hai to aap bol sakte hain the palace is on river side river side can also be used river side ka matlab ki river ke kinare या फिर अगर आप इस इफ यू आर ऑन दिस रॉक ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड कॉर्नर देन यू से इट इज अक्रॉस द लेक आई होप यू गाइस अंडरस्टूड द वर्ड अक्रॉस एंड अलोंग टेल मी अबाउट दिस डॉग वेयर इज दिस डॉग वॉकिंग राइट नाउ एंड व्हाट इज द डॉग ट्राइंग टू डू कीर्ति प्लीज टेल मी अबाउट द डॉग the dog uh running on the road yes he is running on the road ma'am can we say in the road no we will say on oh, the road the on the street because it's not inside the road absolutely it's on a surface road is a surface so we'll say it is on the road great question you can say if a uh, dog uh, just like we have uh, a dog and he running in in the room so on the road say, on the road no in the room if he is inside the house so we can say in the room in the room yes we can on that time because of course. it's completely closed of and course. yes for a room we will always say in the room but here we will say on the road or on yes. the street because it's open and equal surface yes good Yes, Thank and the dog is also trying to cross the road. That is right. And many of you also said that the dog is walking across the road. Across is not a verb, guys. Across is a position word. So a crossing doesn't exist, Priya. What you can say is the dog is walking across the road. Across the road means road ke dusri taraf ja raha hai. Road ko cross karke. So you can say the dog is walking. across the road you can say that now let's move on and let's talk about this picture i want you guys to tell me about few things which are on the table there's a table in this picture as you can see tell me about things which are on the table which are above the table which are under the table which are near the table tell me about everything in this room compared to the table please okay, so let me go to raghav hello hi raghav yes tell me about this room please uh, ma'am what what were you asking tell me about the things um if you are sitting on this table think about this table in the room and then tell me the position of other things in the room Okay, and uh, uh, the two flower pot on the table, uh -huh. and there are some book. They uh, those are on the table also. Okay. And uh, and how about the pictures? Picture is looking cool. They look cool, and where are they? What is the location of these pictures? Of these pictures. 
are they on the table on the wall, over the, the table of course they are on the on the wall but if you compare them with the table are they on the table are they over the table are they above the table please let me know these picture are uh, above the table uh huh that's right they are above the table not over the table that's right and how about these laundry bags where are they laundry bag uh, beside the chair uh, stool and mm -hmm. what 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 is this uh, like stand of some pots and uh, uh -huh. um, what we say uh, like uh, where the some uh, uh, pots are uh, put on there almira okay. it's an it's almira a, it's a cupboard etc yeah okay yes. and some uh, decorated items uh, into into the um, almira and not over, not the, into into is not correct in the almira in the almira and yes. uh, some on the almira okay very nice yes into is used with motion when something okay. is moving for movement for example she came into the room so coming is a movement right so for that you use into but here everything is just there so you will use in on above etc so yeah the light this light is above the table that's right good so that makes me very happy that you can differentiate above and over you can use them correctly i'm very confident now now um, let's talk about the greenery in this picture where is the greenery in the picture please let me know Manish, where is the greenery? Hi, Manish. I can't hear you. Sharia, where is the greenery in this picture? Hi, am I audible? Yes, uh -huh. Ma'am, this picture is a ma'am is in a hall. It is a hall. Okay. Ma'am, drawing room. Uh -huh. Ma'am, it has so big cupboard. There are so many statues and ma'am books. Where and are these statues and books? Where are these statues? Ma'am, in cupboard. In the cupboard, okay. Ma'am, in display cupboard. Okay, that's right. And ma'am, there's a sofa set. Uh -huh. I'm between a sofa set, there's table, and ma'am. Beside the sofa set, there is lamp also. Beside the sofa set, there is a lamp. Very nice. And where is the greenery in this picture? Ma'am, outside the, ma'am outside the, ma'am the house. Very okay. nice. Yes. Thank you, Shorya. So outside, and uh, I want to bring to your attention that outside means just outside something like outside this room. Outside this house, outside outside the gate. For all other things, we should use the word out. For example, if you want to say, um, if you want to say, no, you should go somewhere this weekend. So you will say, let's go out this weekend. Or I went out with my friends last weekend. This is a very common mistake that we make. We say, I went outside with my friends. Outside is not used for that. Outside means just outside something, like just outside a room or a building. Otherwise, we use out. Let's go out. Would you like to go out this evening? We went out last evening. So please remember that. Did you understand this? When to use out and when to use outside? Is that clear, guys? Please let me know if that's clear to you. If I have been able to explain it. Okay, I can repeat. I will repeat. In fact, I will write it for you guys here. Where do I write it? Let's write it here. So, outside means it is like outside a building, etc. Outside is used for when you are referring to the outer part of a building, of a house, etc. And out means 
now around a place for example for example for example chalo sunday ko bahar chalte hain so you will say let's go out this sunday you will not say let's go outside okay you will only say out because outside ka matlab just you can use it for a building for a uh, gate for a room etc for anywhere around in the place around the place you will use go out for example how often do you go out with your friends i hardly go out with my friends because i'm very busy so in all these situations when you're talking about ghumna firna and all you will not use outside you will use out for example i frequently eat out but i love to eat out mere ko bahar khana pasand hai eat outside nahi bolenge eat out bolenge i love to eat out na ki i love to eat outside has that brought some more clarity please let me know i have given some examples to you pinky has a question pinky please go ahead and ask it yes i am i would like to ask one thing as greenery is outside so mm-hmm. can we use that uh, greenery is behind the glass behind the glass um you don't need i to think you can say that but you can see through this glass so maybe you will say there's greenery outside matlab agar aap is is situation ko kisi ko explain karenge to waisa dekha jaye to yes it is behind but aap bolenge nahi aisa because it's you can see through the glass you say look at the greenery outside okay okay when yes, you're talking yes. to someone like logically of course it could be behind but when you're talking to someone you will say no look at the greenery outside it's so green it's lush green etc okay okay Okay. okay yes that's what i wanted to ask thank you so much for asking that question so that's great i love it when you guys ask questions because that makes me feel that you are here with me in the session otherwise i feel like you know you are attending your body is here but your soul is already sleeping or maybe watching tv now let's move on let's talk about this cat where is this cat according to you tell me about this cat please Manish, please tell me about this cat. I can't hear Manish, so I'm going to Kirti. Cat under the table. Cat is under the table. That's right, guys. She is under the table. You know the word under now very well. Where is this person? Please tell me about this person, Poonam. Ma'am, ma'am, the man is uh, into the. water oh maybe he's trying to get into the water and where is he right now into the sea oh he is already inside the sea he is already um, is he inside the sea he is he is not into the water he is not okay he may be moving but ye abhi ja nahi raha hai in water ke andar he already water ke andar hi hai already okay. water ke andar hi hai nahi hai in the water is good yeah inside the water we can say yes the man is inside the water actually he is not inside the water he is actually inside the sea and this person is under water right now this person is under water under the water that's right guys this person is inside the sea under the water okay. below the surface so i want to discuss below the surface we are saying below the surface and under water under yes, the water ma'am. that's right so that's under here let's move on let's um let's talk about this what is this person doing please tell me about this person and what they are doing let us go to kanta kanta what is this person doing yes guys yes, ma'am mm-hmm. uh-huh oh uh... a person uh-huh is seeing into a kya bolte hain isko microscope ha microscope i don't know i am just thinking See. that is a microscope okay 
Very nice, Kanta. Absolutely. He is looking into a microscope. Into is used for a movement. As you can see that he is moving his eyes, his eyesight inside that microscope. So we'll say he's looking into the, into the microscope, guys. Microscope mein dekh hai, malab, into the microscope. Because dekhna is a movement. Look into my eyes. Into my eyes, na? looking into the microscope. That's what you will say here. You guys can make note of all these sentences. That will be very helpful for you. Oh, tell me about this guy now. What is this guy doing? Maybe you don't know this word or maybe you know that uh, expression. What is he doing? Or what is he trying to do? Please let me know. Raise your hands, guys. Minakshi, yes, please let me know. He tried to hit on the uh, on the mirror. And then what does he want to do? After he breaks that mirror, what do you think he wants to do? Please tell me, tell me, tell me. Think about it, Vinakshi. Okay. He, he go to... outside the wall. I think he is trying to go inside. Yes, inside, inside, actually. Um, Ashish, what do you think he's doing? I think uh, he's trying to go out through this uh, window. Okay. I think he's trying to go inside the house. That's what I think. We can think anything. But <laughs> yeah, if, if he's trying to go outside, that's fine as well. Um, but if he's trying to go inside, He's trying, yeah, he will jump over the window. Very nice, Manish. He will, he's going to jump over the window once he breaks it. Or uh, he's trying to break into the house. That's right. Somebody used the expression break into. Break into, agar aap ko pata nahi hai, I would like to tell you, break into is a phrasal verb. So, ye jo kaam kar hai. This guy is a thief. He's trying to break this glass so that, ho, so that he can go inside the house and steal something. Usko bolte break into. Break into ka matlab hota hai, to enter a place forcefully. Like to enter a place, matlab ki, to enter a building forcefully. For example, we can say, yesterday a thief broke into our house and stole some cash. So broke into the house means they entered forcefully. Like this, like this person is trying to enter. So to enter a building forcefully is to break into that place. You should know that. So I want to ask you guys, has anyone ever broken into your house? Has a thief ever broken into your house or have you ever broken into someone's house? Broken into someone's house means have you ever entered their house forcefully? No, most of them say no. So far, no, but maybe in future, who knows? Okay. <laughs> yes, guys. So that's break into. This guy is trying to break into the house. He's a thief. Now let's move on. So I hope you learned the expression break into. Now tell me about this plane. What's happening with this plane, guys? Please tell me about it. So, Pinky, what's happening with this plane? The plane is crashing into the sea. Very nice. You guys got it. This plane is crashing into the sea. Crashing into water. That's right. Crashing into water. Crashing into... So, plane, pani mein crash ho gaya. Sea mein crash ho gaya. Aap bolenge, the plane crashed into the sea because it entered the sea with the force, with the movement. So, you will use into here. I'm so happy that you guys can use the word into correctly. Well done. Let's move on. And oh, tell me, this was supposed to be a video. Let me just show it to you. Take a look at this video, please. And tell me about the fog. Also tell me about the snow in this picture. So let me ask Sharia. Sharia, please tell me about the fog and the snow in this video. 
Hi, Sarya. Uh, ma'am, in this video, ma'am, smoke is coming from. Ma'am, ma'am, it's noise coming from the uh, mountain. From the mountain. Fog. Yes, ma'am. Okay, think about it more. Okay, snow is falling over the ground. The snow is over the valley. Yeah, it's not a snowfall happening here. There's already snow. But the snow is over the mountain. I agree with all of you who said over the mountain. It is not on the mountain. So this situation is where the whole mountain is covered with the snow. You will not say on the mountain. You will say over the mountain. You will say this, there is snow over the mountain. That's right. And how about this fog that you see? Where is the fog? Is it on the mountain, over the mountain, above the mountain? Please let me know. Manish, what do you think about the fog? Uh, Ma'am, uh, actually the fog is above the mountain, but it also, we also can be say like uh, fog is over the mountain. Because if we will go uh, in the front, in the top of the mountain, then we what will see, we will see the fog is over the mountain. It covers all the mountain. I agree with you. Very nice explanation. So, as we guys said, above ka matlab upar hai, lekin it's not covering and over matlab upar hai and it's covering. Agar logically dekha jaye to ye cover to nahi karay, to kahin apna alag hi jara hai. It's, it's, it's just fog. But if you look from a view, like from a distance, like if you, if you look from this point where you are right now, so you can say that it's over the mountain. There is fog over the mountain right now because the mountain top is kind of covered with the fog. So you can say that. Above the mountain is most appropriate. Yes, but you can also use over in this situation. Now let's talk about this one. Tell me about this person. Where do you think this person is? And will you say he is on the ground, over the ground, above the ground? What will you say and what is his location? Tell me about it. Raghav, would you like to tell me? Hello. <clears throat> Hello. Yes, hi Raghav. Where is this person? Uh, it is on the swing. Uh, um, on a swing, uh, yes, I agree with you. And... Uh, And uh, uh, he's on. Uh, he is on the swing. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, please think about it, Raghav. Take some time to think about this man. So yes, he is on the swing. That's a great observation. And but he's above the ground. He's above the ground, like Manish said, because he is not touching the ground. He's above the ground, and there's a water body. So. How will you talk about that? <laughs> Kirti says, life ke maza de of course. It's a beach location. And where do you think this person is? Uh, how will you talk about the water body nearby? Okay, will you say he is on the river, on the sea, above the sea? Which word will you use to describe his position as compared to the sea? He's on the swing and above the ground and the water body is behind him. Wonderful, Rehan. Yes, the water body is behind him. But if you look at it, he's like, he's just sitting by the seaside maybe. You know, abhi is sea ki kinare baita hai. You can also use the preposition. He is swinging by the seaside. You should also know this word. You should also know this word by. By anything means near that thing. For example, by the window. When I travel, I like to sit by the window. By the window means I like to sit closest to the window. So we also use the expression by. By the window or uh, uh, by the seaside or uh, maybe by the door, for example. By the door means near the door, closer to the door. So you also use the word by to talk about near that thing. 
Can you guys give me some examples right now with by the seaside or by the window, et cetera? Please give me some examples. How you can use. We can say across the river, uh, but as a lagrana, jidha ye camera ye isi taraf hai. So, idha se photo kincha hai aage se. So, humare le to humari taraf hai. Kisi dusre ke le, jo river ke us taraf hoga. If somebody is on the other side of the river, wo bolenge ki, yeah, there's a guy swinging across the river. But humare le to humari taraf hai abhi. So, we will not use across the river. I hope I have explained that, Unam. Have I explained that to you? Please let me know. I'm sitting by the window. That's right. Sitting by the showpiece rack. Yes, we can say that. I like to sit by the window while traveling. Yeah, most of us, right? We like to sit by the window. I'm running by the roadside. Yes, wonderful. You can say that, Neha. So I hope you guys got that by ka matlab near that thing, closer to that thing. We can use it for that. And I hope um, I answered your question. Um, who asked me that question? Unam, I hope I answered your question. Now let's move on to the next one. Take a look. Uh, sorry about that. How about this? Picture. Could you describe this picture to me? Um, let me ask Sumaira. Hi, Sumaira. Hello, ma'am. Hi, Sumaira. Could you describe this picture to us? Um, uh, her mother was taking her picture. Uh huh. And where where are they right now? Um, in picnic. They are on a picnic. Say, on a picnic. On, not in picnic. They are on a picnic. Okay. And okay, uh, where are they on a picnic? Which place in, do you think it is? In a park. They are in a park. Very good. And where is the tree? You see a tree trunk. Where is it located? Tree is in between. Very nice. Tree is between these two people. And she's clicking the picture. Okay. Thank you so much, Sumaira. Well done. Okay, so You will say on the picnic. Okay, they are on the picnic, not in the picnic. And that was the last picture I had for you. I'm going to stop sharing the screen. So, I hope you cleared some concept of different words such as across, along, into, above, over. Was it helpful? Please let me know. Just clicking picture, yes, I agree. So was it helpful? Was the session helpful to you guys? Did it help you understand some prepositions? Please let me know. Okay. Thank you, thank you guys for letting me know. That makes me happy. And um, when we meet tomorrow, we will try to have another practice or maybe I will share an assignment with you today. Let me share this assignment with you guys. I will share some sentences with you and I would like you to complete those sentences based on your understanding of the words, based on your understanding of the use of words. And if you need any help doing that exercise, please feel free to ask me. You can ask me in the group or you can also ask me individually. You can send me a message or you can ask me tomorrow during the class. So that's all from me for today's session. If you do not have any questions, please feel free to leave the session. But in case you have any questions, please ask me. Anyone has a question? Okay, looks like I don't have any questions. So I will put an end to the session. I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you so much for staying here and joining this session. Good night, everyone.